Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. We have a few scattered showers and storms outside uh, across parts of the tri-state, but unlike last Saturday, nowhere near the torrential downpours that we had that led to that record rainfall in the city of Evansville. And in fact, most of the day, it's been quiet and dry for the immediate Evansville metro, but that will begin to change uh, possibly later this evening, but definitely as we head into early tomorrow morning through uh, Sunday afternoon as well. And that's a part of what's uh, topping tonight's uh, first warning focus with the scattered showers and storms again possible, I think, for a a large portion of the area diminishing later on tonight before we see those redevelop tomorrow and then after the cold front moves through Sunday evening we get a nice taste of fall like air in both the temperatures and the humidity dropping considerably and those overnight lows are going to be on the cool side once again as well and then we stay dry and quiet through most of next week as high pressure keeps us clear and prevents really any in the way of any system moving through to provide any potential uh, shower or storm activity. So a pretty quiet week next week and for the most part quiet in the immediate Evansville, Henderson, Owensboro metro area looking at the twin breaches from our Ellis Park Tower camera. The clouds though making it look a little gloomy this evening. So not the best looking late afternoon early evening but again for the most part we are dry and same situation on the east side of Evansville high top Deaconess Gateway from our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera and finally downtown Evansville top fifth third bank looking at the bend in the Ohio from our Superior Ag Tower camera and you can see the cloud cover is starting to thicken up a little bit. 81 the temperature right now. Dew points again a little bit higher than where we were yesterday. We've seen that gradual increase now up to 67. It was about 65 degrees uh, late last night for the dew point uh, yesterday. So getting a little bit more of that humid air in, but the temperature is not too bad. So all things considered, uh, could be much worse as we've seen uh, through the last uh, couple of months, obviously through the summer months as well. And temperatures really depends on where you are. And you can make out those isolated showers where it's still 81 Evansville 80 in Henderson, but well to the north, shower up in the Lagodi area, 72 degrees. And that could be close to some of our high temperatures behind this fall like cold front as we head into the beginning of next week. Again, more on that in just a moment. But outside right now, here is the live look at first warning Doppler radar showing a scattering of showers and a little bit of lightning, primarily with that cell moving to the northern half of Clay County, just outside of the, uh, the viewing or will be outside of the viewing area here momentarily. But this shower up to the north, again, that has cooled considerably those temperatures in the Lagodi area starting to fall apart had some pretty heavy rainfall when it was on the Dubois Martin Davies County's lines and now continuing to move to the north and falling apart as it does so and I think overall we'll see that diminishing trend through the rest of the evening and early tonight rivers across the tri-state holding steady or falling we'll see the Ohio and Evansville fall about another foot and a half by Tuesday evening falling slowly for the Wabash River in Mount Carmel steady right now just over 10 and a half feet for the green at Calhoun falling slowly situated right at four feet for the White River or Petersburg and the Little Wabash River holding steady and should hold steady right around that four foot mark over the course of the next several days. But here's a look at two systems that will be providing some scattered shower activity. Uh, the one that's moving through right now that moisture from the Gulf coming up from the south and then there's that cold front out towards the west. It's going to bring another round of showers and storms uh, starting as early as tomorrow morning and then into the early afternoon hours before we start to dry out late tomorrow evening. I think by sundown tomorrow night, that's when most of the activity should be winding down or even completely out of the tri-state area. But here's a look at future tracker showing a few isolated showers possible overnight, but things should get going late tomorrow morning into the early afternoon time frame. Here we are between about 3 to 4 tomorrow afternoon. The last batch moving east of Highway 41. And again, by sundown tomorrow evening, we should be mostly clear and mostly quiet uh, for the rest of the uh, evening. And that's going to set up early tomorrow. Now, we could have a few leftover clouds heading into Monday afternoon and Monday evening, but that should be uh, long gone by the time that we get to the early morning hours of Tuesday with high pressure dominating and here is your fall like seven day forecast highs in the mid 70s as we head into Monday low humidity but check out some of those overnight lows down into the mid 50s as we head into Monday night early Tuesday morning so a real taste of fall especially in the mornings kind of a crisp start with uh, temperatures waking up Tuesday morning between 50 to 55 degrees.